Here at AGBT, we ask the question, how do you measure aneuploidy from a single cell in less than 12 hours? And to that end, Adam from R&D, you had a poster you just recently presented. Is that correct? That's right, Dale. And what can you tell us about it? So in that poster, we discussed how we used a workflow that takes only 12 hours to go from one cell to an answer. And the answer is, does the cell have a trisomy or a monosomy for one of the chromosomes? I see. And as far as that particular workflow, it's a lot faster than the existing uh, sort of ion torrent workflow. Is that correct? That's right. We had to make some steps to speed up the workflow mm -hmm. and to get it down under 12 hours. So is that a different template prep then? That's right. Instead of using the one touch or the Ion Chef, here we're using our isothermal amplification technology. And what can you tell me about isothermal uh, amplification? So the great thing about isothermal amplification is it's a very fast reaction. The actual reaction itself is under 30 minutes with a little bit of setup and takedown time and then running the ion one touch ES to enrich the beads. Mm -hmm. Takes under two hours altogether, less than 30 minutes of hands-on time. That's great. And then as far as the analysis, did it use the latest version of Ion Reporter we've been hearing about? That's right. We use Ion Reporter version 4.4. And that's able to very quickly and automatedly call the aneuploidy events. You can review the data and um, generate reports from it. I see. And how was the response to your poster today? I have had quite a few people come by, very interested, and I highlighted the rapid part of the workflow. That's great. If you're interested in downloading the poster itself, you can access it via SlideShare.